Hi everyone, welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about orbital elements. So what are these orbital elements? Orbital elements are six parameters which are helpful for describing the orbital motion of the satellites. Okay. So where these particular satellites are moving in the particular orbits, okay, we can also estimate their position with what speed or velocity they are moving. We can uh, see each and every uh, parameters according to these elements. Okay. So <clears throat> it is also easy to differentiate one satellite from the another satellite based on the values of orbital elements. Okay. So these are several orbital elements. So we are considering six important orbital elements. They are eccentricity, semi-major axis, mean anomaly, argument of perigee, inclination, right ascension of ascending node. Okay. So let's see the orbital elements one by one. Yeah. So the first orbital element is semi-major axis. Okay. So in the previous topics, while we are uh, discussing about Kepler's laws, we have seen this concept, right? Okay. So always a smaller body will be moving around the larger body in an elliptical order. Okay. So let us say this particular elliptical path or an elliptical orbit, orbital path is divided into two. This is one and this is two. Okay. So if you consider these two segments which are divided into half okay so this long line can be considered as the major axis and the short line is considered as the minor axis okay so as it is small it is considered as the minor axis and the long line is considered as major axis major axis is given by a and minor axis is denoted by b okay now what is this semi major axis the length of the semi-major axis A defines the size of the satellite orbit. Okay. So based on the length of this particular semi-major axis or the major axis, this line. Okay. We can estimate the length of the particular orbital path. Okay. How much uh, length is there? Okay. And semi as the name indicates semi. Okay. Semi from the semi-major axis indicates half of the major axis. Okay. So it runs from the center through a focus to the edge of the ellipse. So from the center point to the edge of the ellipse is considered as the half of the semi major axis. This is half. Okay. Now this is also used to calculate the time period of revolution. How much time is taken by a smaller body to make one revolution around the larger body that is also can be calculated using this semi major axis. Okay. This is one orbital element. Let's clear this. Coming to the sec uh, second orbital element. Okay. It is the eccentricity. The value of eccentricity fixes the share of the satellite orbit. Okay. So, so actually it is uh, not share, it is size, sorry for that. Okay. So eccentricity, okay. The value of eccentricity fixes the size of the satellite orbit. Okay. So the value of E eccentricity E indicates the deviation of orbit shape from a perfect circle. Okay. So this eccentricity E is calculated as E is equal to square root of A square minus B square by A. Okay. Where we have already seen A is the major axis of the elliptical path and B is the minor axis of the elliptical path or any uh, orbital path. Okay. Now let us say eccentricity E value is zero. If at all the eccentricity E value is zero, okay, the orbital path will be in circular shape. Okay. So if at all the eccentricity E value is zero, the orbital path will be in a circulator, uh, circular shape as mentioned here. Okay. Suppose 
if the e value is between the 0 and 1 okay the orbital path shape will be elliptical based on the reading we got okay suppose for example here we have taken e is 0.5 okay 0 0.5 let us say we have considered one value so you can see this is a little bit of elliptical shape okay suppose same that e is 0.8 it will be more much of an more elliptical shape so based on the reading the shape of the orbital path okay is decided okay we can estimate the shape this is the second orbital element coming to the third mean anomaly okay so the mean anomaly m is refer to angle okay we can simply call it as angle okay so the mean and anomaly or the angle which describe the position of the satellites in its orbit with reference to perigee now what is this perigee okay now before getting into this mean or the angle topic or anomaly topic okay we need to know what is this perigee point as well as apogee point okay now let's consider an earth okay so we have considered an earth and a satellite is moving around the earth in an orbital path let us say okay now let us say a satellite is nearer to the earth as it is moving in an elliptical path okay the satellite keeps on moving okay so sometimes the satellite may be nearer to the earth sometimes the satellite may be far away from the earth as it is moving in the elliptical path now suppose the satellite is at this point okay as the satellite is very much nearer to the earth okay the distance between this particular satellite and the earth can be considered as perigee or perigee point okay now the satellite keeps on moving in the elliptical path and comes over here so what's happening here the satellite is very much far away from the earth okay now if at all the satellite is very much far away from the earth okay that can be considered as apogee or you can also call it as apogee point okay so these are the differences between perigee and apogee okay now mean anomaly is the angle which describes the position of the satellite in its orbit with reference to the perigee so where is the perigee here this one so with reference to the perigee and the angle made by the position of the satellite in the orbit okay can be the angle considered as the mean anomaly okay so at perigee the value of m or the mean is zero degrees if at all the satellite is at the perigee point the mean value is zero degrees okay now if at all the value is increased or the value of m mean anomaly increases means okay it is 180 degrees so what's happened now from the satellite from the perigee point it goes to the apogee point apogee point means it is far away from the earth now what's happening this m or the mean value increases to 180 degrees as it reaches or reach apogee point okay now in order to reach this particular satellite to again to the perigee point how much degrees it need to travel it need to travel another 180 degrees so completely it will be an 360 degrees okay so initially if at all the satellite is at perigee it m value mean value will be zero degrees okay if at all the m increases to 180 degrees it means that the satellite moves from perigee to apogee okay so if at all it the satellite moves back to the perigee okay we can estimate that the mean value or the mean anomaly value is 360 degrees this is how this particular orbital element works okay understood now coming to the next element 
argument of perigee okay so argument of perigee is nothing but the the angle measure along the orbit from the ascending node to the perigee is called argument of perigee so let's once again read that the angle measure along the orbit so this is the particular orbit right this is a particular orbit which is moving uh, the satellite is moving in this particular orbit around this particular earth okay from ascending node to the perigee so from ascending node perigee is here okay ascending node means towards this direction like this okay so how much angle let me clear this so how much angle okay from ascending node to this point of perigee okay that angle is considered as the argument of perigee okay so how it will be considered as ascending node this point is considered as ascending ascending node means it is with respect to the equatorial plane where the equatorial uh, orbital path as well as the equatorial plane matches that particular point can be considered as our ascending node and from that ascending node okay till the point of perigee the angle made or the angle form when the it travels from the ascending node to the perigee okay that particular angle can be considered as okay argument of perigee so according to our concept how much degrees the argument of perigee is approximately 270 degrees okay so starting from the ascending node so ascending node is the with reference to the equatorial path as well as the orbital path how to calculate the angle the angle made or formed or measured starting from the ascending node till the perigee that particular angle measure okay can be considered as argument of perigee so according to this figure the argument of perigee is 270 degrees the degree the angle made from ascending node to perigee point let's move on to the another element inclination inclination is a simple term the angle between the orbital plane and earth's equatorial plane is known as inclination okay now this is a globe we all know so this globe has an equatorial plane okay so this particular red line is considered as our equatorial path okay now let's consider our orbital plane or an orbital path so this particular yellow one is our orbital path or orbital plane okay if you take the reference of this particular equatorial orbit and this particular inclined orbit okay how much degrees of inclination or how much degrees of angle is there between this particular equatorial orbit as well as okay Uh, orbital plane that particular angle can be considered as inclination angle okay with reference to the earth's equatorial orbit as well as the okay inclined orbit okay the angle made between those two orbits is considered as our inclination angle that is denoted by i okay next coming to the right ascension okay so the right ascension the angular distance measured eastward in the equatorial plane from the axis so let me explain once again the angular distance let me take the pen the angular distance measured eastward okay so remember this eastward 
in equatorial plane from the axis is called right ascension okay so this is a globe and this is an equatorial plane or equatorial path okay or uh, i mean uh, orbital path okay now from this particular equatorial plane okay there is an angle made how much angle is made or the with respect to the eastward direction okay so this particular thing so if you see this is an equatorial plane and this is an orbital path okay so from the equatorial plane how much angle is made so this is the angle towards the eastward direction angle made by what angle made by the uh, i mean this particular orbital path okay so orbital path will be not always uh, static okay it keeps on changing based on the inclination due to some changes okay so how much angle is made by this particular uh, orbital plane with respect to the equatorial path that to in which direction direction of eastwards like this you can see the green arrow right okay like this towards the eastward that eastward angle formation okay can be considered as our right ascension okay it is moving right side okay so this is considered as our right ascension okay you can also call it as ra these all these are nothing but the uh, orbital elements there are many more orbital elements to find out the position velocity of the satellites in an uh, orbital plane okay so all these things can be uh, based on how the satellites are moving in an orbital plane okay based on the equatorial axis okay taking the reference of the equatorial earth's equatorial okay all this can be explained in a simple manner okay thank you